Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the domain of this logarithmic function. So if it was just like y equals log base 4 of x, then it's really easy because we know the domain is x greater than 0. That's just from memory, so you can only take the log of a, neg of a positive number, so x is positive. Here it's the log of all of this stuff. So here when we plug in a value of x into this function, it has to make sense. So this whole thing here has to be positive. That's what's going to tell us if our x is in the domain. So whenever you're finding the domain of a log, the very first step is you take this entire thing and you just set it greater than 0. So x squared minus 4x minus 21 greater than 0. So that is step 1. The second step is to solve this inequality. There's a couple ways to do this. Let's use what's called the test point method. The test point method is a surefire way to solve quadratic inequalities. So the test point method first says that you first have to try to factor this. So let's see if we can do that. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 21 and add to negative 4. Well, 7 and 3. And then we'll make the bigger one negative. Because if you do negative 7x plus 3x, you get negative 4x. And negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. Okay, so that's the first step in the test point method, is you want to make sure it's all factored and you have one thing on one side and zero on the other. The second step in the test point method for solving quadratic inequalities is to set each of these factors equal to zero. And the reason is, those are the places where this expression might change sign. So you set x minus 7 equal to zero. Okay, these are the steps for the test point method x plus 3 equals 0. This is not like an algebraic move, right? This is just following the steps from the method. So then you solve each of these. And then you put these on a number line. And then you plug in test points, hence the name test point method. So here is negative 3, and here is 7. And just pick the easiest number in the world, 0. So let's check 0. So you take 0 and you plug it in here to your x's. So you get 0 minus 7, 0 plus 3. And we want to see if that's greater than 0. So we get negative 7 times 3, so negative 21. Is that greater than 0? No, it's not. So it's false. So because we pick 0 from here and it's false, the trick is you shade in the other spots. Okay. This will always work as long as you don't have anything squared. Like if you have like an x minus 7 squared or x plus 3 squared, game over. But it'll work on simple stuff like this. So just pick 0 because it's the easiest number in the world. We plugged it in. It wasn't true, so we shaded here. If it had been true, you would have shaded here in the middle. But it wasn't, so we shaded in the other pieces. It's a greater than, so we have parentheses. And now we can write the answer from the picture. Negative infinity to negative 3 union and then 7 to infinity and then that would be the domain of our function. 